Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fold this origami corn flour. It looks like this from the top and this from the side. And in a different separate video, I make this uh, stem, flower stem, that you can then cut about the bottom off of and slide it onto the stem like that to make decorations that stand up. Okay, so to get started, you'll need one of the free use origami papers in my classroom. If you're anywhere else in the world, you can take a regular sheet of paper and take the top edge, fold the corner over like this, and roll it towards the left edge. Line it up here so these two edges are parallel. And then crease along this diagonal line. Use your bone folder so it's a nice solid crease. And then cut off the remaining piece of paper. This remaining piece of paper you can use for the stem for the corn flour once you're finished. Okay. For the purpose of the demonstration, I'm going to start with a colored piece of paper uh, so you can see both sides. Hold your paper on a, in a diamond shape like this and take the bottom corner and then fold it up to the top corner like this and valley fold right there so it's exactly a line right along the center and then take the right hand corner and fold it over to the left hand corner. Valley folding it so it's right along the center line. Like this. Now we're going to make <clears throat> what's typically called the preliminary base. But in this demonstration, I'm going to uh, make the preliminary base with a variety of squash folds here. You're going to take the triangle we just had, open up that top flap, separate these two pieces of paper, <clears throat> and while you're holding this top corner so it doesn't walk away from you, take this corner that's pointing up and fold it down to meet that top corner like that. And then crease those edges so that it looks like that. That's called a squash fold. Okay, now flip the paper over and do the same procedure. Take this corner, hold it up vertically, and take this top corner, separate the paper, and without those two edges walking away from you, take this corner and fold it down. Make sure that as you fold it down, the fold actually lines up with the center right here. Don't let it walk away from you and get creased somewhere else. And then finish making those creases here. Now this, is, this model we have now is called the preliminary base. It's the sister to the water bomb base. Okay. Now we're going to do that same procedure. Again, we have four flaps now. Two on this side, one, two, and two on this side, one, two. And we're going to take this corner hold it up vertically. If you want to like re kind of crease it so it stays in the center, you can do that. And take this top corner again, separate the two pieces of paper so that it's open. And make sure that this crease that you can see here lines directly up with the center line here. Okay, increase that. and that squash fold will look something like that. Now you have three more flaps left, one on this side still and two on this side still. One, two. You're going to do that same procedure to the, th the three remaining flaps. So I'm actually just going to fold this edge over here. Take this edge, separate the flaps, line it up on the center line and hold it still and then use my fingers to just crease it down. And Now that I've got those creased, I'm just going to reinforce it with my bone folder. Now I'm going to flip the model over and follow the same procedure again. Take this corner, fold it upright, separate the flaps of paper, and line the center up. and crease that down. 
like so. And fold this flap over. And get my remaining flap of paper, open it up, line it up with the center. And crease it down. There we go. Now, you want to make sure that once you've finished this, you have these two flaps on either side. Okay, so you should have like this point and this point. And then you should have this point and this point. So you have these points flapping up. Okay, now you're going to take this corner here and you're going to fold these two corners, valley folding it, kind of taking this flap of paper here and these two corners and valley folding it this direction so that these corners line up with this bottom edge here. You can kind of see how that one lines up there. I'm going to stick my finger inside here and just crease it gently and take this one here and crease it gently so that it opens up like this. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to take these two flaps here. You can see that they're like standing up a bit. You're just going to crease them right along this center line that we already have and you're going to squash fold it again. So you're going to pull these flaps down, line this center line here up and then squash fold it like this. So it lays flat and it'll look something like that when you're done. And then repeat that step over here on this side. So I'm just going to take this squash it down so that, that line goes right along the center and it should look something like that when you're done. Okay, so you can see how we have the two flaps, one, two here, and these two flaps that are pointing up at the top. Then we're going to do a little valley folding and one more squash fold. I'm going to take this corner, I'm going to valley fold it so it lines right up with this piece of paper here. So I'm going to valley fold it over the top like this. And then I'm going to take this flap and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take this corner and squash fold it. Separate that flap of paper. And take that and squash fold it right along the center. So it looks like that kite shape. Now I'm going to do that to the remaining three sides, one, two, and three. Take this one, valley fold it over, separate the two flaps of paper, and squash it so that it's got its center line right along the center of the bottom paper. Follow the same procedure here, valley fold it over. separate it and squash fold it right down the center. Last flap, valley fold it. Separate the two flaps and squash fold it right down the center line. Now that all those are completed, I'm just going to run my bone folder over it all to get it nice and even. Okay, So there's kind of the finished product of what you would see in the directions. And then at this point, if you'd like to, you could take this kind of top section and fold it back a bit so that it either can stand flat like this or it can kind of, you know, look from the side that way. And then this bottom corner here, you can take your scissors and just trim a little chunk off the bottom. And you can see how that little section opens up there. And then that little section is where the flower stem would go in like that to hold it up. Okay, and then you can finish the flower stem in a separate video. Okay, and that is how you make the origami cornflower.